everyone and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be a bit of an impromptu Primark haul because I didn't intend to go in there today but if you want to see what I picked up then keep watching so hi everyone I hope you're all okay if you're new to my channel which some of you may be I'm Charlotte I'm 34 and I am mum at T3 and we were at the Trafford Centre today our youngest is about to start school in September and Mark and I um, have decided that we'll try and take a day a week until the summer holidays to do something fun with them just to kind of make the most of it while we can um, it's bittersweet when your youngest goes to school but while we were at the Trafford Centre at the Lego Land Discovery Centre we were very near Primark and Stan my youngest loves clothes like his mama so we did go in after we went to McDonald's and excuse the background noise by the way because I've got the window open because it's really humid but windy and I feel like it could possibly rain but we fell in and that was that. So this haul is mostly for the kids, but there are some bits for me. So in the interest of keeping everyone happy, I'm gonna do my stuff first. And then when that's done, you can click off if you're not into kids stuff. I think that's fair. So let's get started. So I've just sorted everything into piles and we'll start with my stuff. But I have realized that while I was picking a few bits for myself, Stan had his dad wrap around his little fingers. Cause I picked some for, um, some bits for Bill and for Daisy, my other two kids, like just a couple of bits each. Stan's got like a bigger pile than me, but it was a Stan day. So we'll just pass over that for now. But let's start with stuff that I got. Honestly, the thing that I'm most excited about is this. If you need a beach bag, right, for holidays, upcoming holidays, we're going away to Mallorca in August this was a bargain right so it's a big big bag it's like a kind of canvasy type can you see the the texture of it there it was um a, they had a pink one and then like kind of like a highlight lighter orange color you know that kind of bright but pastel neon neon orange a bit like how this is like bright neon pastel pink um but what i love about it is that there's a little front pocket for things that you need to grab easily it is huge and also it can go on your shoulder now in previous holidays that we've been on we've always had a buggy because of the ages of our children whereas this year we will not so walking to the beach and stuff will be very much a we're going to have to carry it kind of vibe and we've got one bag already which is like a green striped one that mark can carry but i thought this one would be mine and we're definitely going to need two with five of us but it was only five pounds and i just thought that was fab you know when you see it and it's just my kind of color i love this color so pick that up and if you're looking for something like that like run don't walk because they are fab and they're so cute as well the next thing that i got the next things that I got were little um, like jewellery bits, which I don't normally get from Primark, I'll be honest. I rarely ever look at the jewellery. But my I was caught by these because I love a gold hoop. You'll regularly see me in a gold hoop if I've got earrings in because I just love them. And I love this kind of burnished hammered pair. I don't know if you can see them. And then there's also a larger, thicker, just shiny gold pair but they were only one pound fifty they you made using recycled metal then probably will irritate my ears because most earrings do but i only usually wear them like when i'm feeling it or in the evening if i'm going out but for one pound fifty for two pairs i just thought that was great and then the other thing i got were just like very mamma mia in all honesty three pound for a pack of eight anklets wrist like bracelets i don't know if they would fit around your neck it doesn't really even say what they are but how cute are they they're so cute and so pretty and i just feel like with a tan gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so i picked those up as well and um, they had some brighter colors like rainbow ones but the blues and the golds and this just really like spoke to me so i picked those up and then the main reason I wanted to look for something for myself and then I kind of fell down like a rabbit hole with loads of things um, was that I wanted some, you know, like chuck on flip flops for when you go to the beach or you buy the pool on holiday. I have loads of sandals and things like that, but I'm not necessarily wanting to get all of them wet. And I saw these, which are just, oh, 
and they just remind me of when we went to Amalfi, like that whole Italian kind of tiling. I don't know if you can see, is it gonna focus on that rather than me? But they are absolutely gorgeous. And they were only two pounds. I'm a size seven and I was very, very happy to see um, one pair of large left. Um, Cause I was gutted at first, I couldn't find them, but then Mark and Stan helped me find them. But they are just great for holiday. You know, when you just wanna slip something on and they feel quite like padded and secure. So hopefully they last. So I always end up breaking these, you know, this bit comes through eventually, but yeah, so I got those and then I've seen some of these dresses on TikTok and I feel like I was quite restrained because there were lots of things that were very much my style right up my street and I walked away from them because I just don't need loads and loads of things. I've got dresses that I love um, and dresses that I wear a lot, but these are just ones that every time I've seen them, I've really, really liked them. And I just, I only bought two, okay, which I think was quite reasonable. Um, so this was 15 pounds. You must have seen it by now. It's so, like, it just makes me want to go to Italy, probably with my matching flip-flops or something, wear a straw hat with a straw bag and sip on Aperol spritzes somewhere nice. Um, but it's gonna be very hard to show you. It's this blue and white dress. It has these big poofy sleeves. Now I am aware that it might try this on, it might not be a bit of me, we'll just have to see. It has a shirred back, which is really good like for being form fitting and like fitting to your curves a bit better. And then it kind of has that whole A-line skirt, but at the bottom, there are lemons, lemons. And it's slightly tiered, so at the bottom, it's like a new flouncy bit of fabric, if you can see what I mean. I got it in a size 14. I'm really like hopeful that I'll like it because I generally do like this poofy sleeve, um, but it might not be right on my shape because I'm not like super, super slim, but uh, fingers crossed, I really like it. If not, I can return it, but I just loved it and I couldn't leave it behind. And blue and white and yellow, like are right up there with some of my favourite shades. And it's just the lemons for me. They were so cute. There were some shorter versions as well. Um, I'll leave a link to a reel that I've done in my description if you want over on my Instagram. So you can see other things that I spotted while I was at the Trafford Centre Primark, just in case it helps. Um, but there were some with like orange prints on, more of like a shirt style which generally doesn't fit me and then there were some shorter ones but loads of really really nice little bits and i could have spent all day looking around but we did have a four-year-old with us and then the next dress it really does match those flip-flops but it is this one and again i got it in a size 14 and this one was slightly more expensive at 18 pounds one thing i liked about this is that it is lined and it has adjustable straps a shared back again so it fits quite nicely to your shape i have like a smaller waist than i do like arse so um i i'm grateful for things that kind of hug different parts of my body again very similar in terms of the skirt in that it's a tiered style with more lemons but the print again is that kind of tiled very amalfi coast as i've mentioned before it just reminds me of that so much and it's just beautiful it's um i would say it's quite a long midi dress perhaps on a shorter person it could potentially be a maxi um but i just thought it was gorgeous and i could not leave it it's just so me like i love that kind of romantic style i love a bit of cottage core as well um and i just thought they were gorgeous so i had to pick those two up and i'm really really hopeful that they fit all right and they look all right on me because i didn't have time to try anything on so oh no there's one more thing for me these i spotted on a mannequin and i thought they'd be great pajamas for when it's too hot however they didn't have any larges so i got extra large which is probably i mean they're 18 to 20 and i do size up a lot in pajamas anyway because i like to be super comfy and wear baggy stuff however i'm just hoping that these are still can you hear the rain I'm showing you little tiny pajamas and it's peeing it down. Now I hold them up to me, they are quite big, but they're only pajamas, so it doesn't really matter how it fits on me. But the top is like 
they're so soft as well it's like a little like frilly cami slightly cropped really really super soft you're probably going to see your nips through them but who cares it's pajamas adjustable straps and that is that and then the pants again are frilled like slightly gathered at the waist um which is quite nice hopefully they'll stay up a little bit better then and then i just love the bottoms but i just thought you know like when you're really hot at night and you never really know what to wear and usually i just stick a pair of like underwear on and sleep like that but um i thought these would be really cute for when we go away as well just a pair of pajamas to pack um so that is all of the stuff for me these by the way sorry i forgot to say six pounds for the bottoms and six pound for the top which actually for the top is quite dear in all honesty because it's only very like sheer floaty fabric but they're lovely and i'm hoping they fit okay but if they don't i can always return them and maybe try a different store and see if they have like a large in size we'll have to see um but now on to the kids so if you don't have kids you're not interested um it's been lovely having you feel free to click away now but um i'll start with daisy just because her stuff is closest to me i wanted to get new underwear for the kids and um, they have a huge range of different things so there's like these i just thought were like bright and fun and floral so i got those for a pack of 10 and they were five pounds which i thought was really really reasonable and they just look quite cute so i got those and then i got her this little dress just because she loves a dress and it was eight pounds which again i thought was quite sweet and it's very summery and pretty and i think again on holiday that would be lovely for her and it's basically just like orange and pink and lilac like kind of pastel shades again this is the other color that the uh, other beach bag was by the way and what's quite cute as well there's a little like loop fasten button detail at the back as well and uh, she has a disco on thursday at school so maybe she'll want to wear this then with some sandals and a little pink cardigan i don't know but then another option because she hasn't got she does have a few dresses which to be fair is her like preference of choice of what to wear but then she hasn't got many like bottoms and you know like sometimes when you go in places and you just want to be able to like climb and play and that kind of thing dresses aren't always it are they and i saw these little dungaree shorts and i thought they were gorgeous like the cut off detail is so cute they're a little bit like distressed which i love there are pockets on the back and then there are little frilled straps and then like a little pocket bit on the front and um, these straps have two different positions depending on how like short you need them to be for your child these were 10 pounds in 67 again and they have been paired with loads of these sheer tops now daisy is six and girls i find just want to grow up so much more quickly than boys do it's crazy but she's been seeing like older girls like when we go to like cricket and stuff it's a big family kind of event every week and um she sees older girls in like crop tops so when i say older i feel like more like my eldest son's age uh, he's 10 and she's like i really want one of them and this that and the other but at six i'm not totally comfortable with her wearing like stuff like that just yet like there's plenty of time baby girl there's plenty of time but they had loads of these little shared tops and they're like bardo very very light shared and elasticated but loads of stretch and a little bit more fitted and like probably slightly cropped but they had them styled with the dungarees now i know she's not only ever going to wear it with the dungarees um but i just thought if she did want something that felt a little bit more trendy and grown up she could have this top but as you can see there's no like proper tummy showing or anything like that they had um a lemon color which was just slightly too bright you know it wasn't like bright yellow but it wasn't quite like pastel yellow and it just was a weird color so i didn't get that one they also had a white one and then they also had white with strawberries on which i really wanted but they just did not have her size so i went for the pink and it was only three pound fifty and i think she's gonna quite like that and again she could wear that to her disco it's in, it's entirely up to her um what she would like to do but um that is essentially all i got for her um and then i actually did sorry get each of them like a little bath bomb 
Vista for one pound each so that's hers like rainbow with a heart reminds me of Love Island actually um, and then for my eldest who is 10 as I've just mentioned I got him like underwear again just because we need it and um, they had some really funky ones actually I thought these were really nice like I like the patterns they made me think of like gaming slightly um, and they were eight quid for five and then I just got him tea t-shirts I love this California Days one I loved the colour that was really really nice and then on the back it has this on and I thought that would be lovely for holiday he's got blonde hair and like I just feel like this will really look nice on him with his little tan um and he that was five pounds and then I got this one as well which I just thought was quite cool and uh, this was only one pound eighty I didn't even realize that and it says mindful souls and it's kind of got like a it's a gray with a kind of grungy hippie-ish print on but again it's not like anything else he has so I thought I would get those and I know he'll love those and then for his egg um bath fizzer sorry I got an egg one which was one pound um which I know he will love so that's for him and then finally Stan who uh apparently look at that fleeced us yeah so what happened they went to the toilet which was quite nearby and I was like right I will go and get Bill and Daisy's bits first. I'll let Stan pick his own um, when he comes back. And then if there's time, I'll go down and get my own little things that I wanted to have a little look at. And um, I got them a few bits each and they came back, they met me there and Mark was like, oh yeah, I'll get these bits of Stan. I was like, good, that's exactly what I plan. So I said, I've just got them a couple of bits and some underwear. And he was like, right, what does Stan need? And I was like, yeah, mainly underwear and just get him a couple of bits. So what we have is actually a Jurassic World jumper which I've got to say is very cute love the zip detailing here very very sweet you know for all those essentials that four-year-olds have Um, this was seven pounds so again not not bad in pricing has detailing on the arm here and it's kind of that like ecru like mottled creamy color he <laughs> got this t-shirt which says bring the dream keep bringing the dream keep no keep living the dream make waves and at the front this was five to six mark sized him up a little bit i think because primark can come quite short on stan um four pound fifty really really cute little design on the front and then the back is proper cute like for holiday with some denim shorts he'll look adorable um we've then moved on to a marvel t-shirt uh which was three pound fifty to be fair these are all like cheaper than the older t stuff but still <laughs> so that was five to six again stan is obsessed with sloths and superheroes so naturally this was the choice he has a batman hat which is missing a tag but i want to say that was probably a few quid um he already has a Captain America hat, but this is what happens when dads go shopping, I think. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. He has um, some pyjamas. Some pyjamas for £10. Pairs of them, five to six, and they are <laughs> Spider-Man. Next time I'm going to have to supervise. Jesus. Right, so yeah, pair of Spider-Man pyjamas. They're two different types. To be fair, they are five to six, so I'll probably be wearing them for another, like two years um and then finally we did indeed get the underwear but we didn't get the basic underwear no 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 we got an eight pound packet of three pair marvel trunks and six pairs for four pound fifty slightly more reasonable of uh batman ones so stan did very well but yeah i hope that helped i hope you found that useful i hope you liked it enjoyed the watch i really wasn't intending on doing a video but i thought i would just in case um but yeah that is everything so thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a lovely rest of your day whatever you're up to and i will hopefully see you all very very soon